Hi, I'm Haley Ellison. And I'm Bonnie Sherwood. And we're here with Ms. Stacy Moore, who is the president and CEO of the Cherry Blossom Festival. When will the cherry blossom trees begin to bloom? They actually started blooming this past weekend. Um, I had several people send me pictures of their yards <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think the rain over, overnight and now the warming temperatures mm -hmm. will help them go ahead and do what we call pop. They pop like popcorn when they bloom. Um, so I think you'll be seeing them really pop over the next week or so and then they should be ready for our guests to come in on March 22nd. Okay. So we've heard the cherry blossom festival will be called the pinkest party. Why is it called that? I actually came up with that name about 10 years ago. Um, we just, we wanted something fun that uh, symbolized what it is and um, although Carolyn Creighton, our founder, had for years talked about love, beauty, and international friendship, um, we still have all of those elements in the festival, but we also wanted people, younger generations, to understand that it is just a really fun party. And okay. I went to Mercer, so I enjoyed it as a student when I was there, and so we wanted to engage the local universities in the area and try to get them, even though some of those students might not be from Macon, to get them involved and help them understand how fun it is. What are some of the activities for young kids and kids our age? Mm -hmm. So young kids, I have young kids, I have a five and an eight year old, and so I, I thought about that a lot this past year, mm -hmm. um, because sometimes all they have are, are the rides at Central City Park. So um, this year we really wanted to do something fun for them. Uh, well, uh, Mexico was one of our featured nations, and so we're gonna have a movie night, a family movie night at Westland, and we're gonna show the Disney movie Coco. Mm -hmm. And so we think that'll be a lot of fun for them, and it's totally free, nobody has to pay anything. We'll have some really authentic, fun uh, Mexican food trucks out mm -hmm. there, um, some Mexican entertainment leading up to the movie at eight. So that's one of our new featured events for younger kids this year, and we're really excited. Um, for teenagers, there's, there's lots. Um, if you've never been to our Tunes and Balloons event, um, that's our traditional hot air balloon glow. Um, it's on the second Sunday, which it's, we serve it as our festival finale. Um, it's on the campus of Middle Georgia State University. Um, it features 10 hot air balloons. You can tether, which means you can pay to get in and they'll go about 30 feet up in the air and come back down. And then um, we're teaming with Making Pops. They're gonna be the concert portion of the event this year. So I encourage your family, if y'all have never gone as a family, it's really fun and picnic friendly and it's just a very nice afternoon and a good way to kind of blow out the festival because we have fireworks at the end of the night. 